I would love to review this movie, but I hurt my throat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, these two guys in the car review the movie. I can't speak right now. Go ahead, you go. Uh, we just finished seeing the movie uh, The Hate You Give. And boy, was it pure propaganda. The Hate You Give is a story about a girl who grew up uh, did they say, what state does this take place in? I have no idea, bro. All I know is the street is Marigold, and there's the other street, um, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. This movie doesn't matter. Don't watch this movie. Let me give you a spoiler for the for the review. This movie is terrible. Um, it's a story about a girl named Star who grows up in the poor part of town. She goes to school in the rich uh, white part of town. One night, after coming from a club, her and her uh, former boyfriend and someone who she used to play Harry Potter with uh, get caught by a cop while driving. The uh, guy named by the name of Khalil refuses to listen to the cops. He consistently refuses to listen to the cops. They think he's taking out a weapon and they proceed to shoot and kill him. And the rest of the movie is basically everyone thinking or reacting off of him, being angry at cops, being angry at white people in general, and this movie's a lot of fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Oh. I mean, <clears throat> I, again, I, I understand the message they were trying to do, but they went about it in a very, very biased way. You know, it's like, we're the oppressed people. We, you know, everybody's trying to be like us. We're the victims. Never mind that we were selling drugs. Never mind that we're criminals. That doesn't matter. You know, we're the victims. You know, and and, and again, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a very biased, biased um, movie. It is. I, I, not to get too spoilery, because I don't like doing that, but this, this I don't give a shit about this movie, and fuck this movie. Um, <laughs> this is a movie that you can really sit down in every level of the way and say this is a fu this is one you, you said it best. This is propaganda bullshit. This is some, this is probably something that should have came out in the nineties, early nineties. Yeah. Ninety two would have worked after the OJ trial, after Rodney, uh, Rodney King, King being yeah, stuff worked like in that. The 90s. This is a movie that it, it, at, at points. There, there were moments where it almost got profound, where it like almost knew what it was saying was wrong, and then they completely turned. They, they, they completely just said, "Ah, fuck the facts. Let's go back to this nonsense." Well, they, they, this is a movie that has, shows no respect for cops. First of all, it, it, it completely shows cops as wrong people, despite not once in this movie showing that they were ever wrong. Mm -hmm. This is a movie that shows white people. As being all racist, mm -hmm. even even to the point where the main character, who is I saw her earlier this year in The Darkest Minds, or Dangerous Minds, no Darkest Minds, Darkest Minds. Um, she's going out with her with a white with a white guy, and the white guy specifically says it, and at no time is ever racist to her or treats her like she's white mm -hmm. or like she's black, and she he goes, I don't see you as black. And I don't he, see race. I don't see race when I look at you. And she goes, yes, you do. And I was like... No, he doesn't. He didn't. He never did at any point in this movie. They make it. They make all white people look racist. And not only that, they, this is a movie that's so stupid. It makes all white people look like they want to be black people. There's not one per white person in this movie who is just... Whatever you want to think of as white. They're all playing character caricatures of white people who act like black people. And this movie's so fucking terrible. It's, it's propaganda. And again, I kind of understand the message they're trying to get across. But they doing it by bashing cops, by bashing the white race, and, 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 and the message was lost. It's, it's like the whole thing was like, you know, when she went to the grand jury, like, you know, it, it wasn't about, oh... He shot him because of this. He started saying, oh, he, he was going to high school. He was a good kid. You know, does that sound familiar? You know, it, it, it's the current political climate climate today where some poor kid gets shot. I'm not even going to mention color, so I won't sound racist. Some poor kid gets shot. The kid has, has a life of crime. 
And next thing you know, you, they showing pictures of him back in seventh grade saying, oh, he was a good kid. He's about to graduate. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it, they playing, they playing the victims and it, and it's like, it, they went about the whole, they went about it the whole way. And I continue to say it, like I was telling you earlier today, as long as we have labels and as long as we continue to say black man, white man, Puerto Rican, there will always be racism. And, and, and like the boyfriend said, I don't see you, you know, I don't see you as a black woman. I don't see race. And that's the kind of attitude we need to move forward. But no, they make him out to be the bad guy no, for saying that. Yeah, she, so she, not, not she the yells, bad guy, but but it's like you she get makes him seem like he's wrong for right. saying it, and they make it almost seem like that he was lying when he did nothing. Actually, I give him a lot of credit yeah. because many times he got blown off in this movie. Right. Every time he asked her, she cheated oh, on him. She cheated on him. She was unfaithful. Every time he asked, he he asked her, you know, can we hang out? How are you doing? Yeah. Da, da, da. She always blew him off. Of course, that won't be seen because he's the white guy and she's the main character. Right. Which is funny. In the in Darkest Minds, she, she also liked the white guy. <laughs> then the other thing I'm going to have a problem, be, being a former cop myself, it's like... Oh, the cop scene was terrible. You know, it's like they made the cop look like a total fucking criminal. Like, Actually, I don't think they did. Yeah. That's the problem with the movie. Well, they, after the incident, they made him look like, like, you know, like he was the most terrible person in the world. But then that, that's another problem I have. They never did that either. Like in, 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 in an exploitation movie, and this is an exploitation movie. 100 percent in, in in any type of decent exploitation movie they would the action would happen where it's in the trailer where he would have shot the kid and you would have went, went back into the cop's history and they would have been like oh he's beating up black people he's been on several sites they never say anything about that right you never see him matter of fact you don't even see him again in the whole movie the closest you get to him is his dad and, and his and, dad is on tv saying he never did anything wrong the he's, other problem i had with this movie was that there were scenes there were scenes in the movie where they seemed to go about it, where they seemed like, okay, now, this is the part where they gotta go to the other side and explain, but then they do a whole 360 degree turn, like, oh, okay, you know, like when the cop was saying, you know, you have to understand that we as yes, cops- that's the scene I was going to you know, too. You know, we, we as cops, we don't know, you know, if, if you're not, go and, and I could speak for this myself, because I used to be a cop, you know, it's like, we don't know what you're going. You don't know. We don't. We're in. A, we're in a neighborhood that's full of drugs, full of known felons. You know, we don't know what you got in the car. You're not complying. You. You know, we're 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 thinking a thousand different thoughts, and that's what people forget about what cops go through. We want to go home at the end of the night, and then, you know, he's explaining that to the girl. But then all of a sudden, the girl plays the race car. Oh, what if it was a white man? Would you say that? And I think they missed the whole point entirely because me, as a former cop, if I'm in a bad neighborhood, I don't care if you're white, Chinese, or black, I'm gonna act the same way towards you. You know, it's because sometimes- Because it's your environment right. around you. But exactly. They but this movie does, this movie's so fucking stupid and tone deaf, it doesn't get that. They, they this, place this, the race car rather than the environment. The, the, the scene he's talking about is a scene with Common. Common, who plays her uncle? Yeah, uncle, Carlos. Is it? Yeah, his name is Carlos. Oh, I didn't- I was too busy being frustrated at this movie. Um, yeah, there's a scene where Common starts explaining to her because she says, oh, would you have done this to him? And he, he very plainly, very calmly points out everything Khalil was doing wrong. And this movie accepts you, expects you to say, ah, fuck that shit. He was, that white guy was racist. And it, I don't know. You know, I had a lot of problems with this movie. I hated it. You know, every fucking it's pure movie. propaganda, and they missed the message. I don't think they. I think they 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 hit their message, and unfortunately, I think the wrong people are going to hear this. This is a movie that is made to to make African Americans feel like victims at all times. Don't expect you to move on from life or accept anyone. Because it, this is the movie. This is a type of movie that has racism the other way. Right. This is reverse right. racism at right. its fucking best right, right. now. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even want to fucking do this review. I didn't want to watch the whole movie. I was ready to walk out about halfway through. I did walk out. I almost walked out until I figured out that you're 
my camera was in his car. I would have I would have went home and I would have probably did a twenty a five minute review about how much I hate this movie. This movie is easily the most hateful movie I've seen since any pure flicks movie. This makes God's Not Dead two look like it's fucking intelligent. Then, I, and I like the and once again backtracking to one of the comments you made. There's a scene where they go on where she has to go on trial finally, and then they ask her, "Can you tell us what happened on that night?" And as soon as that happens, she starts talking about Khalil's life. That's not the fucking question. The right. question was, what, what happened, happened on that, that night? night. Right. And and before you, I give, I you can you can have you can start talking because I'm losing my voice. This movie never recognizes the fact that Star lied in her first testimony. They straight up asked her, "Were you drinking?" She was drinking. They showed her drinking, and everyone's like, "Yeah, forget it." That's, that's what this whole movie is. And Anytime you can prove that she was wrong or any uh, or her friends were wrong, it, oh, I didn't... Let's, uh, I was, let's save what? the main event, the white girl, for a minute. Oh, no, there's two. Because Falcon's in this movie from the Avengers. <laughs> but uh, this, that's what this movie is. Anytime the, anytime the main character was proven wrong 100%, they just say, ah, forget about that. Let's yeah, they go back to the race. Degree turn. And another problem I have with the movie is, is like... Oh, where, where, where black people were oppressed, yet they see every white person as racist, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, all want to be like us. Simply because a white man listens to Beyonce or, or whatever. It's like, it's like, I, yeah. li I, I listen to, you know, I, I listen to a certain music. It doesn't mean I want to be like, like Tupac, you know, I like Tupac's music. I like Biggie Small's music. It doesn't mean I want to be him, you know. It just means that I like his work. I appreciate his work. I mean, I don't know. Every every white person in this movie was portrayed as wanting to be black or being hateful of black and people. Then, but no one, no white person in this movie ever is shown to be then, hateful of black people, are they? You know, and let's get to the other part. When when they show the cop in the TV and all that, the white girl says, "I feel sorry for him." Oh wait, wait, hold on. Let's you know? not. Let's not. Get, oh, right, let's go. Let's start. You know, there's a there's a character in the movie um, who starts off as the main character's best friend. I can't remember her name right now. Um, doesn't matter. No she's one, white. She's what? She's the white. She's the white friend. That's that's what this, everyone is. There's the black lead character, the white cop, common. <laughs> And you know, you know what bothered me about that whole friendship, the way they painted it, was that they painted the white girl as racist. Well, they painted for no fucking reason. But what I what I hated about it was like, and there's one scene where the mother says, "Oh, remember when you guys were hanging out when, and you when, wanted to color your hair purple? You know, you wanted to color your hair purple. You know, they made it they made it seem like she wanted the same thing her friend wanted because she's white. Oh, you want to be white? No, no, motherfuckers." If I see that Danny's wearing a nice jacket and I want the same jacket, it's because I want the same jacket. It's not because I want to be... You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They made it seem like, oh, you need to stop trying to be white. You know, how many times growing up did we see our friends do something... And of course you want to do it. It's not because it's like it's not because that they're they're a different nationality or race or yeah, whatever. It's because, it's because you're friends. You're friends. I want to do what That's my what friend friends do. That's what friends do. You know, I want to do what my friends is doing. Like today, like today, I told I I told my wife, "Baby, can I go to the movies with Danny?" You know, it's not because I want to be Puerto Rican. Never mind, they were both Puerto <laughs> Rican. <laughs> but you know, it's not it's not because I want to be a rock star like you or, or be gothic like you. It's because we both like doing that. And the movie played it off as like, "Oh, you've been her friend because you, all this time you've been wanting to be white." It's it's the most ridiculous thing. You know, it's the most insulting thing. Oh, this movie is very you know, insulting. And uh, just uh, there's two. There, there's that scene. I, actually, I wasn't even gonna hit on that scene. Oh, that but pissed they, me they, off. They, they, I'm gonna go to the other one that pissed you off. The 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 girl goes up to her friend and goes, "Oh, I feel sorry for that cop because his career's ruined." And she and and the main character looks at her and goes, "You feel sorry for him? Why? You his life is fucking ruined. That's why." Mm -hmm. Even even if he is proven guilty, which at the end of the movie he is, yeah, I mean innocent. Even if he yeah. is proven innocent, that's a dude who still has a, a record out there. This is a guy who's still going to be only known because he was 
right, you his know, career indicted. Ruined. His career is ruined. His more career or less. is ruined. He could never be. And and again, having been a cop before, I know he'll be modified for seven, ten years. And by the time he's put back on the street, he'll be so old, he will want to be back on the street. So his career's over. And, you know, and again, the simple and, fact and, of the and, matter is... And, and she got mad, and, and once again, she saw that her... This is what makes that scene with Common more infuriating. Mm -hmm. She saw, the main character saw Khalil, Star saw Khalil being incompliant and being damn near rebellious right. towards the cop. And this movie is not, this movie is so stupid. It actually takes that as a trait of endearment for him. When it's not, he wasn't fucking listening. Pay right. attention, goddammit. He's not damn complying. It. He's in a bad neighborhood, drug infested neighborhood. You high know, crime rate. High crime rate. The there, person in the car was a drug dealer. Not to mention there was a <laughs> shoot. There was a there were reports. There was a shooting. There was a they shooting. Did, yes. So the officers already on guard <laughs> going going into it. That's what makes it, holy shit. You just made, you just reminded me no, why this movie's so terrible. No, but it's true. I mean, listen. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying you just you just reminded me why I should hate this movie even more. You know, they were not only did he was jumping lanes. They, they, were, just they just came from a party that was a shootout in. You know. All right, I'm, let's let's do the score. They just came from a party that was a shootout. He's a drug dealer. He's a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. He was switching lanes. He he went through three lanes in four seconds, less than four seconds. He's in the middle of the night. I don't know where with a girl with an he, underage girl. Oh, they're both underage. They were both okay. less than eighteen. You got me there. Not being compliant, fighting back against the officer. Going for some, reaching for something that the cop had no idea what could have been in his hand. I'm sorry, I have no sympathy for anyone in this movie. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and again, like I told you before, because I try to be fair, a more experienced, seasoned cop would have draw his ar uh, firearm and would have said, "Don't fucking move! Don't fucking move! Don't fucking move! I'll blow your head off." But you, you, you also, and I, and I want to get this under review. You also got to realize that a lot of cops today, they're young. I'm not making excuses for the cop, but they're young. They grow, they grow, they grow up in an environment that is not like ours. We grew up in the hood. We grew up all our lives in the hood, so they don't have that instinct. I mean, I'm not making an excuse for the cop, but you know, at oh, the I, end don't, of, I don't think the cop needs an excuse. He, know, did, he did the right thing. At the end of the day, I tell people be compliant. Yes, sir. No, sir. And that's it. You know, there's no need to you show know, attitude. You're, you're dead because you didn't comply. Period. And then Period. try not to repeat yourself too much. Sorry. <laughs> um, another thing about the girl. So the girl at the end, or somewhere near the end, she she tells Star, and she goes, "Oh, he she he had a weapon." He was like, and she goes, and she goes, "Is a coma weapon?" And she goes, "If I don't know what it is, yeah." And then Star proceeds to grab the comb out of the uh, her friend or her, who would be, end up being a former friend's um, Mace a book weapon, bag basically. and goes, "Does this look like a weapon? Does this look like a it weapon? Is. Yeah! If I'm attacking you with something, guess what? It's a fucking weapon. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's a toothpick. You fucking dumbass! It becomes a weapon. Fuck this movie! <laughs> I'm sorry. You've I would. I've been dying I, to say that. I've oh, I've been dying. Fuck this movie. If you like this movie, good for you. If you like this movie because you're white and you feel guilty, fuck you. This movie's terrible. This is a, this is not only a step back in racial um, culturization. This is a step back in just in just the fact that we need to learn just to be to to be cool with each other. Yeah. At the end of the day, we need to stop the labels, and that's it. This movie is fucking Period. shits. Period. And, and as long as we hateful as motherfucker. And I, I, I want to piss on this movie. As long as we have movies like this, we will never get rid of racism. Because it all becomes about the I color think of our skin. Oh, yeah. we need to wrap this review up. Um, what's your final score? Zero. Zero. This movie's terrible. Finally, we agree. Yeah, this movie's easily the worst movie I, I will probably see all year. I have to give a big apology to Assassination Nation. <laughs> that movie seems like fucking magic compared to this fucking wave of nonsense and bullshit. I just, I'm fucking tired. I, I need to rest my voice because I have to work tomorrow. Uh, so uh, that's it for now. Bye. 
Once again, I still think there's a dead body in the back of that car. Someone really needs to check that out. But yeah, um, just to jump on one last thought from the movie that wasn't discussed in that, uh, I guess that review. <laughs> I still think we're going to see a snuff film one of these days. Um, is the movie's very tone deaf in what it's trying to do. Like, it almost could have been pr profound if it, they, they were right. There, there are a couple of times where the movie could have turned and been something interesting or uh, better than what it was going for, which is absolutely black exploitation at its worst. Um, like, uh, what they didn't mention is that as the main bad guy in the movie was, uh, I forgot what his name was in the movie, but it was a guy played by Falcon from the Avengers movie. And it almost would have been profound if someone would acknowledge that the main bad guy in this movie was of African American descent. But let's, much like every other thing that this movie had a chance to turn this into something interesting, it just stayed what it was, a one note exploitation movie that was made to prey on people's, mainly African Americans fear and their fear of cops. And that's all it was. This movie was terrible. I hope no one watches it. Um, if you liked it, you know, let's try to have a civil discussion. Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and whatever. I don't think anyone's going to be agreeing with me on this one. But uh, that's what this movie was. So if you thought you wanted to see all the hate you give, all you're going to get is a whole lot of hate.